My inability to talk is like really just protruding. I feel like every word that I say is like taking away my breath. And I feel like it has to do with the fact that I'm like drained. It And it must be that I'm drained because I made sure that I went to sleep moderately early last night. You know, it wasn't past 12 o'clock. It was like 1130, which is better for me. That's better. But like I'm waking up right now and I'm still feeling groggy. And I, so I think it's just it's not just my lack of sleep that's making me like feel shitty i think it's also just like the weather is gloomy i haven't seen the sun in a few days it gets dark at four o'clock and i don't know it's cold so i think there's a lot of factors but i don't like it like i don't like how i've been feeling also it's partly because my period i can feel that my period is starting to come so this is when i get the I get emotional and then we start having conversations that I probably wouldn't have had when I was um, not PMSing. So when you guys saw me wake up today at um, 7 a.m., that was not, tr trust and believe, this was not no 7 a.m. morning routine. I'm not there yet. That's where I want to be in life. Okay, that's that's my goal to be put together like that and start my day at 7 o'clock in the morning. But lately, you know, I've just been starting my day like I've been starting my day late and then running out of bed and then throwing on whatever clothes I can find and then rushing out the house and and making my way to school. That's been my morning routine. It, my morning routine has been non-existent. But I woke up at seven o'clock because I had to feed the cats this morning. My mom wasn't able to feed the cats and they have to be fed at seven or else they will literally rip the house to shreds like and me to shreds. Like Lucy will come in here and she will bite my foot and she will let me know, girl, it's seven o'clock why have you not fed me yet so that was the only reason i was up and then i went straight back to sleep and then i woke up at nine which is more more my speed because i have i have my classes today i have two classes today's wednesday so yeah i don't know i'm just trying to like i've been really struggling i feel like to even just like film youtube videos like i've been trying to film just any youtube video since monday and every time I filmed a whole entire like morning routine thing, like a kind of like day in my life video. But the whole time, I just felt like a freaking zombie in the video. Like I was looking back at it and I was just like, what the hell is wrong with me right now? I don't know. I just feel slow. I feel groggy. I don't feel my most energetic self. And, you know, I, I, I 
probably a lot of people are feeling that right now. It's like the, I wouldn't call them what I'm feeling right now seasonal depression, or maybe I can't because it has to do with the season, right? I, I said that it's gloomy and it's cold and I think that's affecting me. So yeah, maybe it is the seasonal depression and it's like impacting me, but yeah, I don't like it. Like I don't like when I'm just like tired all the time. That seems very like opposite of my personality and I feel like I'm not myself. So it's like hard for me to like pull out the camera and then like talk to the camera and stuff, talk to you guys and then have to edit it back and be like, well, that doesn't look like myself. Mm -hmm, no, I don't like that. Yeah, but I still want to make the content, which is like the most frustrating part. But like, I don't know how to snap myself out of this. So it's just, it's just hard. And like, there's a lot of stuff like on my brain and like, I don't know, like my brain is going through it. My brain is really going through it right now, really affecting me. And I don't know if that is what's really also draining me because every day I come home from school and I just knock out and I take a nap. And, you know, that could be fine and dandy and everything, but, you know, when I come home from school, I want to be able to, like, make content, TikToks or, or in Reels and stuff like that because I really want to work on that. I'm starting to find things that I like about TikToks and stuff like that, so I want to have the time to do that. But part of that is also I need sunlight and then I go to school in the day and then, so then I have this minimal amount of sunlight, you know, when I come home to, especially because it gets dark at four o'clock now, so I have this minimal amount of sunlight to make the content that I'm passionate about, but then I come home and for some reason I'm drained. I literally go to two classes and I'm drained. I don't get it. I don't get it. Do you guys get it? Cause I don't get it. Like it's not like high school when you would have eight classes in a day. I have two classes and I feel like I need to sleep for five days. So maybe I'm just, I don't know. I don't think I'm lazy, but maybe I just can't handle a lot. <laughs> maybe I really just can't handle anything. I don't know, but it's freaking, frustrating it's all frustrating i've just been very frustrated and that's why i was girl that's another thing don't think that maya wakes up every day and she pulls out her journal and she starts to do, 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 do journal which i would like to do see that's i would like to be that girl i would like to be that girl but you know when you're rushing out of the house because you woke up you know 40 minutes late you don't really have time to do the journal so today I had the time and there was there's a lot of stuff on my mind. I didn't even journal it all out. I think I still need to like go back in and do some more journaling. But yeah, this was like a one time this was a one time thing, you know? Cause I really needed it. <laughs> I really needed it. Cause I'm just not I'm not feeling my myself. I'm not and I'm not feeling um is fulfilled the right word. I'm just not I'm not feeling I don't feel like I'm propelling or, or yeah, or um, growing. And I think that frustrates me a lot because I'm the type of person, I hate staying stagnant. Like I hate, like in all aspects, whether it's like um, growth in, in like work or whether it's growth in like my personal growth and stuff like that. Like staying stagnant is not something I enjoy. And I don't know why, I maybe I have to look into that and like why I can't just like stay still and like be at peace with the fact that like, you know, life isn't changing right now. But yeah, I'm just feeling stagnant and I'm also feeling like I'm going backwards. And like that is making me frustrated, I think. That I feel like I'm staying still and going backwards and just going anywhere but forward. And that, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Mentally, probably like over the past two days, I think I've been getting back into my whole like spirituality of things, my manifestation and just like, you know, um, being more in tune with spirituality. Because I feel like I've lo I lost touch with that for the past year, I would say. That was something that really like guided me. Like my manifestations really, really guided me. And, and, and I feel like when I was... When I was heavy on that and when I was heavy on my mottos or whatever, like I felt like that was when I was really like propelling. I don't know. But like I used to like manifest every month and, and stuff like that. And I haven't done that. I don't know. Like since the summer, I don't know. It's been a while. So I really fell off with that. And yeah, I just I just want to be back on my spiritual game because I feel like that's when I'm my best self. Okay, so the main things, here's some models. Here's some models that I got for you guys today. These are the main things that I've been kind of like basing my life on. Well, is it two or three? The first one kind of has multiple, multiple kind of like ways, but the first one, let go of things that do not serve you. I've been fully resonating with that. Like let go of things that do not serve you, but that's been like, a struggle for me because I'm like 
Then I have to think about what isn't serving me in my life. And I'm like, is school serving me? <laughs> Which is like, yeah, that's a whole nother debacle. We can talk about that later because I don't want to be late to school. But I don't know. That's something that I've been journaling about because, you know, I've already dropped out once. So if I drop out twice, there's no going back. But, you know, I'm not making any drastic, you know, don't get scared. They'll be like, Maya, no, Maya. Listen, man, I'm just venting. I'm just venting my feelings. Just venting my feelings out loud, okay? So I don't know what I want to do yet, but like that's a question I'm asking myself. Like, is school serving me? Does school serve me? So I have to like go in depth with that. But yeah, just like ask yourself, like, you know, is there something in your life that doesn't serve you? And let that go. Because I've heard a lot of people talk about, and like it makes sense, when you hold on to things that aren't serving you, those things are taking up space for the things that can fulfill you and that can propel you. So let it go, like let it go. So I don't know. What I need to let go. I don't know if school is that or or not, but yeah, that's that's one thing that I've really been um, resonating with. And then what was the other one? Fuck, fuck! I knew I should have said them both at one time because I knew I was gonna forget. Let go of things that don't serve you. And oh, 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 okay. You have to. This one. I don't know if it has like a quick little clip, but um, I saw I saw um, another influencer kind of like talk about this, but. To attract better things, you have to be better yourself. And the thing, I think I've been, could I say unhappy? I think I'm just unfulfilled with my life right now. I'm unfulfilled with the connections. Like, I've made no connections. I've made no connections. No, like, new friendships. The type of relationships and friendships and, like, connections and stuff that I want to seek out, I know what playing field I want that to be at, right? It's at this, like, playing field where I want, I want people to be what's the word like not my equal but sure like my equal for lack of a better word like you know what I'm saying but if I'm feel in my brain like if I feel like I'm down here and if I feel like I'm not bettering myself how am I supposed to make the connections with the people that I feel like are up here you know you know you know in order to you know a lot of people are like oh I want I want to find better people or I want better opportunities. I want better work opportunities. I want, you know, just better things in general, better things in life. Like you yourself have to work on yourself and be better. And that's what I'm realizing. So I'm in my bettering myself era. That's what I've decided because I'm not happy with where I am right now and not necessarily who I am right now because I, I'm always... Like, it's not like it's a personality thing, but yeah, I think it's just, I think, because my personality will always stay the same, but I think I just want to be better so that I could attract better things, because I know what I want to attract in life. I know I want to attract, what is it, these high vibrations. I don't know the, I don't know the goddamn different, people were telling, when I posted a picture on my Thanksgiving plate, people were like, that was very low vibration. I don't know what that means. I know it came from a TikTok or something, but what is low, I don't know what low vibrational means, so I'm just saying that I want some, something high vibrational, I don't know. But that, that was my rambling, but everyone takes some, you know, some, some mottos or some spiritual advice. I feel like those are really good ones to adapt. Maybe for 2023, you know? Let go of things that don't serve you and better yourself to find better things. Oh, that, that was fire. But yeah, I could talk about this for hours. I don't have hours. I need to eat breakfast and leave the house. I think once I articulate my thoughts and feelings, maybe I can discuss because it's not articulating in my brain. But okay, so I'm going to class. And then when I come back from class, I'm gonna, um, no, after class, I actually am going to an influencer event. So I think, you know, this is one of my opportunities. You know, I say that I want to make these connections. This is the point when I need to stop being my introverted, extroverted self. I'm going to this influencer event alone and i think it's it's a black owned company so i'm hopefully we're gonna find some fellow blacks up in this place we're gonna find some fellow blacks and i'm gonna go and i'm gonna try to mingle but so i'm excited for that i'm excited for that so we just need to get through school get through this gloomy ass day it's freaking there's no sun in sight there's no sun in sight and i know it's gonna rain but whatever, we need to get through it. Here's my OOTD. But I think I might want to change after school because I don't necessarily know if I want to go into Manhattan with this fit if I, I'm going to like meet people. Because this is like my hobo chic type of attire. So, you know, I don't know if I want I want to present myself as, hey, I'm Maya, here's my, oh, here's my hobo chic attire, you know? So, yeah, but you know, this is good enough for school. Because like I said, I've given up. 
Oh no, I said that I said that in the morning routine that I never posted. I was basically saying how in the beginning, oh fuck, where's my phone? Where's my phone? I was basically saying how in the beginning of the school semester, I was like, <laughs> I put so much effort. I was like, um, I'm gonna get dressed and you know, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go early, I'm gonna try to mingle, all this stuff. Literally, like I think it was one month in that I was like, I'm over it. <laughs> like getting dressed for school no no like and and i feel like that's i don't know maybe senioritis comes a lot earlier for college students because i'm not even a senior yet but i already feel like how i felt in high school like senior year of high school which was actually such a liberating experience um because it's like you would wake up go to high school and it would be such a contrast from how you were in freshman year. Because freshman year, you know, you would you would do a little bit of makeup, or if you wore makeup, you do your hair. You would, you know, pick a pick a moderately good outfit. Senior year, you would roll out of bed. You would barely brush your hair, and then just brush your teeth, and then just go. Because at that point, you know everybody. You tired of everybody. And you just want to get in and get out. My mom made some oatmeal the other day, and there's some leftovers, so that's perfect. Because... I just warm this up in the microwave. In the microwave. Bro, I thought it was just gloomy. It's actually raining. And I'm wearing... <laughs> I was leaving class and I was like recording me leaving class and then this kid comes up to me and he's like are you are you are you vlogging I was like no I just like recording things I feel like I just made that like more embarrassing for myself but agreeing to vlogging just seems like heart-wrenching heart-wrenching I'd rather him think that I'm just some weirdo that records stuff just for the sake of recording it than him knowing that I'm putting it in a vlog and I don't know what that embarrassment comes from. I don't know why I'm so embarrassed. But I think I might have just embarrassed myself more. I was gonna be like, why is she just she's just recording just to record? Weirdo. <laughs> I'm back home. My teacher actually let us out 30 minutes early, which is great because we were just doing people were just presenting their projects, so we finished early. But I'm supposed to be going to an influencer event right now in Manhattan. But like my gut is just telling me like I was excited to go. Like the it's it's like really windy and rainy outside right now, and also my anxiety, I just feel very anxious. And I'm like, I can always tell when my body feels anxious when I'm just like shivering all the time, and I'm just like, I'm like I'm not even cold. I'm just like anxious and I think I just need to like USA. I just need to like stay home, feel comfortable. And I think my my class really <laughs> my class really made me very anxious. And it's the forensics class, the one that we talked about a long a, a little while ago. And um it's where cause for the presentations, you know, people have to present like these serial killers or like these important deaths and stuff like that. And it just like, and then they included images of like dead bodies and all. And I think, I think I get really affected by the stuff that I see and it gives me anxiety. Like that's why I try to like really distance myself from TikTok. I put a two hour limit a day on my TikTok from like the iPhone settings, from the screen time settings. I put it on TikTok and I put it on Instagram also, but really I put it on TikTok because sometimes I'll just scroll in depth and then I find myself literally just coming off my phone and bawling my eyes out. And it's like, I really internalize the stuff that I see and like, I really like feel it and it gives me anxiety. Like if there's like crimes or something that's happening or like 
bad things in the world like they're like i don't watch the news for a reason and i know it's because it's not because i don't want to know the information it's because like i know if i know too much information i'm never gonna leave my house i'm like that, i'm like that type of person where it's like you tell me like like the citizen app you guys remember you guys know the citizen app where like it'll tell you the crimes that are happening around you i knew i was like i'm not getting that app because if i see someone was stabbed two blocks away from me I'm crying and then I'm running home and I'm never leaving my house again. Like, I think I really I really get anxious over that type of stuff. Seeing the, the serial killers today really, I don't know. And on top of the gloominess and the raininess and then the wind just breaking my umbrella and shit like that, I'm just not feeling at ease. So I think I'm gonna eat some food because also I, I do get anxious when I'm like really hungry too. That also affects like my bodily functions. And then I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna try to do some, some work that I've been putting off doing, but I feel like I have the motivation to do it. Like I'm gonna do some laundry, maybe make some content and kind of just, woosa, <laughs> woosa. <sighs> I don't know why, like things really, I things really just affect, I think that I'm a chronic empath or whatever that means. You know, when that whole TikTok trend where people were like, well, as an empath, I really think I'm an empath. Like in a bad way. Well, like if someone's in a bad mood, automatically I'm in a bad mood. And like it, it, it's terrible. I don't like it. I don't like that. But, and I don't know why it happens. Like why? I think it's because I try to match other people's energy. So if somebody has bad energy, then like subconsciously I'm just trying to match their bad energy. And like, I hate that. Cause then it makes me feel like shit. So I could really do with some bubble tea right now, but I'm not leaving my house again. I'm scared. I literally, I got so scared. Like. I get, there's there's some moments when I'm not paranoid, but I think like the class really made me paranoid to the fact that I was literally running. I was running out of school. And like anytime I saw somebody on the, cause it's like eerie, you know, when it's raining, it's windy, it's kind of like dark. And then I just got out of class from seeing a bunch of dead bodies and like unsolved crime cases. And then it's like every person I see on the block automatically, I'm like, you're a suspect. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. And it's like a terrible anxiety. I was like shaking. Can we put more trigger warnings? I would have just, if I knew that that was gonna happen today in class, I just wouldn't have gone. I wouldn't have gone. <sighs> I need to practice breathing. You know what they do? I, I've actually been working on the, the, the breathe in for what, seven? I don't know the amount of seconds, but when you breathe in through your nose and then hold it. And then breathe out. That really helps. If you're panicking, like me, and if you have panic attacks and like you get anxiety and shit like that, the breathing thing really does help because like I, you don't even realize how much like the 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 heart racing beating like affects your your body and like your body's like racing this fast and it's just like making your brain it's making everything go out of whack. So it's just like that slowing down of just like the like. <laughs> I made shrimp scampi last night. It was phenomenal. Fire. So I'm actually quite excited to indulge in this right now. And there's, I'm just gonna eat this whole goddamn thing. You're gonna eat it up, girl. You're gonna eat it up. charger is literally just over with like this thing is done and I was milking it but now it's like it's just not charging so I had gone to Best Buy this past weekend and I just got another cord I was gonna get an Apple one but then the Best Buy worker was actually very nice and he was just like well don't get the Apple one because it's literally $20 more and you could just get this one which is the Best Buy brands, like their own brand, and it was a lot cheaper. It was literally like $9. Hopefully it works with, cause sometimes Apple likes to make it so that things don't actually work with their products so that you kind of have to buy what they want you to buy. It's now like five o'clock. Um, so I was downstairs for a while, but I wasn't just like not doing anything. I was actually on the phone with Raina and 
Like my mood has completely changed around. And this is what I'm saying guys, like you need to create a circle, create a community of people that you know uplift you and that you can uplift. Like it's it's really true what they say. Like your friends, your peers, like anything, like the people around you really matter. It's not that you're supposed to look up to, but you're supposed to, why can't I think of words today? You're supposed to be inspired by your friends and stuff like that. And also like having like-minded people that want to do the same thing and are interested in the same things. It's just like refreshing. So I always love when I get to like chat with Raina just about like content and social media and stuff like that. Yeah, we just had, we had a super long call just about like where we're at, what we want to do, why we like just grinding, like grinding. And then I've also been listening to a podcast also about grinding. So like my mentality has switched and I think I really needed that. Like it, it's like an extreme contrast. So I immediately, like I got up and I'm like, I went on my emails. I'm like, I need to do my emails. And so that's what I'm doing right now. And then I need to finish my assignment for school. And I don't know, cause I was just, not that I make a lot of excuses, but I think I work it into myself that I can't do something. So I think that that projects onto like my body and my brain. Cause like my dad always says this thing where it's like, if you think you're sick, then you're gonna be sick. Like, you know, I mean, sometimes that's not true. You know what I'm saying? If you got a stomach virus, you got a stomach virus. But sometimes our mental state really just affects our body and, and, and every aspect of our life. If I am keep like saying and I am keep like, oh, I can't do this. Like, I'm just drained. I'm, I'm, I, I don't have enough time to do this. I don't like my body is going to reflect that, I feel like. So I think I just need to just try like i just need to try and like do this whole balancing school and and content and all that stuff i just need to try i want to get my life together and stick with it because like you know when a lot of like you, you watch these get your life together videos for youtubers and most of the time when a youtuber gets their life together for a video it's normally like one day and i'm speaking for experience like it'll be like okay i'm filming a getting my life together video today and it's like I make my bed one day and then the next day it's like back to like shambles, which I mean, I don't make my bed now. It's not me. Maybe I should start doing that. But what I'm trying to say is I really just, I really just want to stick with good routines and I want to stick with good mindsets and stuff like that. But I often get off track. Yeah. So I'm going to continue doing this. And then I think I'm having Chinese tonight, which I love. I love a good Chinese takeout type night. But yeah, I also have my laundry. I have my laundry in the wash. I probably have to switch it over to the dryer. I have to go down there and do that. But I'm just feeling productive. I feel like I'm glad. This is when like going with your gut is important because I'm glad that I didn't end up going out because you have to look at the positives because I'm like, if I did go out, I probably never would have had that conversation with Reyna that would have like just completely shifted my energy today and gave, in, gave me this like productive spurt. video essay which like you guys know I think I showed you when I like first started it so it's been like this prolonged thing but it's finally once I hand this portion in it's done like that's the last I could delete the files I could do I'm so tired of it being on my computer I'm so tired it's taking up so much space but yeah I've been working on that just cuz like bro it's basically like done but I'm just like aesthetically a perfectionist so like I'm tweaking things that I don't even need to tweak you know I ordered my Chinese food my mom is still on her way home from work, so I ordered enough for her. That's why it's so much, too. But we got, this is our usual type of order. I added something new because I was craving something new, but we normally always get the fried green plantain. It's a necessity. Um, this sauce we never eat. And then... We always get either General Tso's or Sesame. I tend to more so like General Tso's just cause I feel like the, the um, I don't know, the chicken is just a better texture than General Tso's. So General Tso's, oh, it smells so good. Okay, and then this is what was new. We normally never, ever, ever get lao mein, but I was just like, hmm, I'm craving like a different 
flavor tonight. So, got some lao mein and an order of steamed broccoli. And that's that. Normally we would either get fried chicken wings or egg rolls, but I was gonna add the egg rolls in, but then I was like, I don't know. My total was coming up to too much money and I was like, I should not be spending this much money on Chinese food. It's supposed to be the affordable, you know, thing. This doesn't feel very affordable. So I took the egg rolls out. So hopefully they won't be missed and hopefully the lao mein is good enough to like sustain the things that I like, took out. So I'm gonna eat this. I have no idea, cause my mom's not here yet. Oh, actually, I think Abbott Elementary comes on tonight. We are avid, I don't know if I ever told you guys how much I love Abbott Elementary. It is phenomenal. If you don't watch it now, I highly suggest you can watch it on Hulu. It's, it's just, it's amazing. I love Abbott. So I don't know if she's gonna make it in time to watch that. So I might just have to, I don't know, pick something. I've been trying to curate a Netflix list of shows that I want to get through because I have gotten behind. Like I watched um, the show Wednesday. Amazing. Watch that show. I feel like if you're a teenager and you want some mystery kind of comedy like just just like good vibes like it was a good show and actually like I feel like the mystery was actually good it gave me like Pretty Little Liars type suspense vibe you know how Pretty Little Liars isn't meant to be scary but like the suspense of it is just like keeps you on your toes and I love Jenna Ortega I haven't been on the Jenna Ortega train that a lot of people have been on but now I get it because like and I've been obsessed. Like I've just been like going down the rabbit hole of her um, acting, of her interviews, talking about the role. Cause like the way that she got into the character is like, she she was perfect, perfect. So yeah, I watched that. 10 out of 10 would absolutely recommend. I wish I still had more of it to watch. So now I don't know what else I'm gonna watch. I never watched season four of Stranger Things. I, I don't know, like, I don't know. I just never sat down to do it. I never watched, there's a lot of, just like a lot of stuff. So I'm waiting for Outer Banks, okay? Why the hell is Outer Banks taking so long? I thought that was two, two years ago that we got a last season. Like, where is Outer Banks? Really, guys, that's the real question because I will jump once we get that. Once we get Outer Banks and once we get uh, season four of You, ugh, you will not be able to remove me from the television. You will not be able to remove me from the television. Also, House of Dragon. I know, you know, the season already ended and I'm late to that. But my thing with House of Dragon was that I was trying to finish Game of Thrones before I watched House of Dragon. I know you do not have to, but I'm a linear type of person. Like I need to finish something that was created first to move on to the next thing. But I did kind of sneak a peek of like the first five minutes of House of Dragon and I don't know, we might just have to make a jump, but I don't know, I never finished Game of Thrones. Like, I, I got stuck, like, kind of in the middle, and I need to, like, jump back into it. It's like the Vampire Diaries for me, you know? There's so many, not even so many seasons, but I think they're just such long episodes that it feels like there's so many seasons, but the Vampire Diaries literally took me, like, like, almost, I don't even know, it took me years to finish because I would take breaks because there was so much freaking... Like there was so much stuff, there was so many seasons that if I watch for a prolonged period of time, I'm just gonna get sick of it for a few months and then I go back to it. I always have to put the food up here because my cats will literally find a way to break into the boxes, throw it down and eat it all. Like no joke. Lucy now knows how to open a tub of butter by like throwing it off the counter and then letting it spill and then licking the butter. Does that sound like a cat to you or is she like, is she not, she's not a cat. <laughs> like, she's not a cat. Here's my plate. Wow. And now I shall eat. I have 20 quick minutes to, ooh, to finish getting ready because Basically today's Thursday, so I normally have my online class at 9.30, but I got an email last night that I got invited to kind of like this breakfast event at the Brooklyn Museum with Mugler. You know, I was like, 
it's like we only have two more days left of class and today we're literally I think just gonna be watching each other's video essays so I'm like it won't hurt if I go to this event because I feel like not going to this event would be like a missed opportunity like even if nothing necessarily comes of it it's still just like it's in Brooklyn really it's in Brooklyn it's so close and like I don't know just something about not going remember how I went with my gut the other day I'm going with my gut today and my gut is telling me I need to go to this it's from 10 to I believe 11 and my class is from 9 30 to 1 so I'll probably still be able to have time to come back home and log on to my class so I'm excited to see what it's about I'm going all alone I think they're literally gonna give like a tour of the exhibit and Mugler basically is like it's a high-end fashion and also they make fragrance a luxury type brand like the celebs use and work with and wear Mugler sometimes I'm interested to see I think this exhibit is surrounded around fashion and I was struggling this morning picking out an outfit because it's like if I'm going to an exhibit surrounding around fashion I'm not trying to look like a dodo bird. I think I ended up still looking like a dodo bird. I just don't have like cool, like, like cool, like clothes, like clothes where someone would be like, oh, she's fashionable. I have clothes where someone would be like, oh, like nice fit, but like not clothes where she, people would be like, wow, what a work of, what a work of art. You know, I don't have that. So I was really struggling because if I'm going to a museum with other works of art, I want to also be a work of art. What time is it? 8.46. Okay, I have a little bit of time to do foundation. I have to do it blind because I don't have my contacts. what my lip combo is it's linked down below um, in the description most of the time but right now I always use the Sephora collection it's like faded but this is the Sephora collection liner pencil I think it's like multi-purposeful like it could be an eyeliner or a lip liner and it's the color brown I'll put the specifics down below and then my gloss is always the tower 28 almond gloss or if I don't want it to be brown which I've mostly been doing the browns. I'll do the Tower 28 clear gloss. Basically, a brown liner and any Tower 28 gloss will just do the trick. Tower 28, I feel like, as far as what I've tried, are my favorite glosses because they're not too sticky. They're not like, and they have like really great colors. So I'm gonna steal one of my mom's bags and I changed my outfit. And I feel like this one feels a bit more like, oh, okay, she's, she kind of has something going on. I don't know about the chain. I might take off the chain. Yeah, I put on my Jaded London knit kind of like overlay over a long sleeve black top. Then I have on my baggy blue jeans. And then I think I'm going to wear my Sambas. I feel like that could be kind of a vibe. But I feel like this top definitely kind of gives me a little more oomph that I was looking for. So I have time to still do 
made me a goodie bag but we'll get into that in an hour when class is done and i put on my hoodie and i took off like all my jewelry so that like my teacher doesn't think that i just went to some like museum event um hopefully she thinks i went to a doctor's appointment overall it was really good the museum was really really pretty i would definitely suggest going i'm not necessarily a huge museum type of person um for the sake of like going and seeing things but i really like that because like they had like actual the actual dresses and and um like stuff like that like it just felt it, it was different than just like looking at paintings and pictures like you could see like the textures and stuff with the dresses like they had cardi b's dress kylie jenner's dress it was really nice and then also if you're like me and you kind of just use museums to take pictures because they're really aesthetic that would be a great great place to go and take your aesthetic pictures because yeah it's just like all surrounded by fashion so like if you just plan a day where you like go to the brooklyn museum and like you go there it's open until may by the way you could go until may if you want to go there do a little photo session or something that's what i would do if i had like gone there like with a friend or something but i made myself some tea She let us out a little bit early, but it's one o'clock now because I was deciding what I wanted to eat. We had the Chinese food last night, but we basically ate it all. So I don't have any leftovers and there's no like stuff to make in the house because we haven't gone shopping. So I decided to order Popeyes. I have, have I had Popeyes before? I think I've had Popeyes once in my life. Like I think in my lifetime I've had Popeyes probably like maybe once or twice and only the fries never like n i don't think i've ever really tried the chicken or anything but i've been seeing the uh popeye's tiktok thing going around where you get the nuggets and then you put the hot honey sauce and then you shake it up and then you put the mac and cheese on it or you put it in the mac and cheese and then you eat that and everybody's saying it's good and i was trying to find a cheap alternative because i wanted to order some lunch but everything was like $40 uh, and I'm like I don't need a full-blown meal I just need a little snack so yeah we're gonna try that out um I'm excited for that to come hopefully I like it but we gotta get into this okay but I think I need to I've been trying to like do I'm doing dual things at once you know I'm trying to vlog for TikTok and vlog for you guys and I I don't know which one needs the unboxing more um, let me just take like a clip. TikTok is so different, but I'm also like, I'm really getting into my groove with TikTok. I've started just like propping up the phone. Here's what I've learned, okay? Here's the TikTok hacks that I'm learning. A, if you have an iPhone, set your phone to record videos in 4K, 60 frames. Yeah, you could do it in settings. Just go to camera, set it, go to settings and then camera and then quality or whatever and then set it for 4k 60 frames per second i think is what it is it changes the game changes the game like my tiktok come out smooth like some may think it, it's a like a camera or something like that definitely changes the game and only film with the back camera changes the game and i've been pretty into it i did like one little like aesthetic type vlog and i feel like that's my vibe like i feel like i like doing the little Kind of like vlogs that are more so just like clips throughout my day on TikTok, but it's tough when I'm like I want to do something for the for the vlog vlog, and then I gotta just do it for the for the mini vlog. I don't know, I don't know. But follow me on TikTok because I'm I'm working really hard on it. All right. Also, always clean your camera. I hate when somebody hands me their phone. Well, not I hate, but like I always just end up doing it for them. Like when someone hands me their phone to take a picture and I look at it and it looks like just straight ash. And I'm like, please clean your camera every time before you take a photo. Should I prop this one up? Fuck, wait, one second. So basically, I 
fucking hate myself, bro. Why? <laughs> they gave me a perfume. This is the, which one is this? New Intense Le E-A-U. Is that Le or U? New Intense U or is it U de Parfum? Is that French? Is that French or am I, am I just being ignorant? Parfum sounds French. So is it like U? No. <laughs> New Intense de Parfum. And oh, this is the Alien Goddess. So that's exciting though, because Mugler fragrance is supposed to be like one of the like top, like best fragrances. Actually, let me, let me see. Because I ran out of uh, my Dossier perfumes. So this actually is coming in handy because I was about to order some more, but maybe I could hold off and like use this one. Mmm, that smells nice. I don't know how to describe perfumes, guys. Like a lot, like some some of the people there, they were really just describing the perfumes well. The, they were describing it as if it was a parfum. You know, they were like, yeah, it's very earthy, aromatic, airy. I'm just like, smells good. How I describe things, whether or not they smell good, is it smells like when you walk into Macy's, but not too strong. Okay, so like. Imagine you're walking into Macy's, take that in, but like add a little bit of sweetness to that, I think, you know, and yeah, that's all I got. This is nice. So I'm excited for that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna tidy up my room area a little bit because I want to make my fashion TikToks in like this little spot, but I have to, you know, picking my outfit kind of made this a little debacle. So I have to tidy that up and then get that done and then I want to finish like we're gonna aim for two three might be a stretch but I know I want to get two done I want to make a TikTok styling these Converse my jaded London clothes that I showed you guys um that I have in here I want to make a TikTok kind of like haul of that and then oh fuck fuck my skims oh wait let me go get my skims Oh, where is it? Oh, it's sitting right here. So I have my Jade in London. These are just parachute pants. Um, this is a package from Delivery. And then my Skims package is right here. And I don't know if I want to do like an unboxing for TikTok. I don't know what, I didn't think about what type of content I wanted to make for my skim stuff. Change of plans real quick because my Popeyes came so fast. So, I'll just eat this now. They put it kind of like in a different box than I saw it on TikTok, so I don't know how I'm supposed to shake it up with my sweet honey. Yeah, I just got the eight count nuggets and then mac and cheese and then french fries. <laughs> we'll see. And then, and then I'm gonna use this box. Pretty good, okay. So I have that, and then should I make, I'll just put some of the mac and cheese in it, I think. I think I'm gonna try each thing individually first. People were just like ascending after eating this on TikTok. I expected to have that same feeling, but I don't know. It just, it just, it just. Uh, let me try it with the. Let me try it with the mac and cheese. Oh, and I need the black and ranch. That was very important. People said that was very important. I normally don't really like ranch, but if it adds to the experience, I have to do it. The sweet heat sauce is definitely good with the black and ranch, for sure. And the mac and cheese is good. It's good. Like you know, what what would I rate it? I would probably rate it like a like an eight. Like it's not bad. Is it the most amazing chicken and mac and cheese I've had? No. Like I feel like if I went to like Sweet Chick or um yeah like 
sweet chick i feel like i could kind of replicate this and i feel like i would like it a bit better but it's not bad would i get again i don't know i don't know i don't know honestly i can't i don't know but again not bad Sometimes it be like that I wish it wouldn't be like that But sometimes it be like that uh, I wish it wouldn't be like that But sometimes it Look uh, I look. did my little Life skims legend, like box unboxing thing I guess I don't know if it's super comfy yet But it looks super cute I got their, you know, the classic lounge type set This is the cotton collection I believe so I got the Heather Gray, and these are the leggings with the skims type bands. And then I got the matching tank top with it. I got the tank top in an extra small, and then the leggings in a small. Hopefully that's, you know, small enough for me. I, I don't know. I, I tend to waver because, like, I have thick thighs, but sometimes the stretch is enough, and sometimes it's not enough. So we'll see how this small goes. But this, I'm obsessed with this color. So I got the same thing. I got the um, leggings, but this one is, what color is this? This is their cyanite Kyan, color. So yeah, got the leggings, and then I got the tank top as well. I love this color because I love the light stitching that they have on it. And then for this one, I also got the t-shirt. So yeah, I think my total, oh, it actually... I think this is my receipt. It doesn't say my total. And they don't have the prices. I feel like they do that so you don't have to remember how much you spent. But I believe I spent around like 230 something. And I got one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, like around 230 something for like five things. The quality feels nice. Again, I have to try it on. I have to see. But I'm willing to like, you know, I'm in this era, like I said before, where my self-growth era, like I want to invest in my at-home lounge attire, like my put-together, I don't know, I feel like this is just gonna make me feel put together. We're feeling good, we're feeling productive, we're feeling like we're getting shit done. The sun is out, scream and shout. I already told you guys what this is, but just my uh, parachute, black parachute pants from Jade London. I got it on their Black Friday sale, so I spent like 60 no like 50 dollars on these which i was like i had to jump on that because normally they're 94 um and i've been wanting the black pair for a while so yeah nice and simple probably gonna be wearing these way too much so yeah but i wanted to say i've come to my consensus about the popeyes um meal i don't think i'll be getting it again just because like it kind of made me feel sick and that has nothing to do with Popeyes and more so just to do with like what I'm used to eating. Like I don't really eat that much fast food except for like Shake Shack, Chick-fil-A. I think those are the main two. Sometimes Pan Express and Chipotle but some people don't count those as like fast food. But yeah, those are like the main ones that I eat. I, I like haven't had McDonald's or anything like that in like years. So I don't know. I think it's just... It tastes good for what it is, but I think I'm not used to eating, like, fast food chicken. So it kind of threw me off, and it kind of made my stomach, like, unsettled. I think if I was used to eating it, it would have been better to me. But I probably wouldn't. I, I'm not going to get it again. I'm not going to get it again. Look, life of a legend, just a day in the life. Might slide on you, I ain't staying the night. I ain't pick cards, I'm just playing them right. Photo shoot tomorrow, they gon' pay for the flight. Amazing the height, I'm able to reach from just rapping. Get it all legit, my n so f trap it. Catch me in the lab, I'm the player with the game plan, and I stick to it. We are really not the same, man. Nothing make this change like the game can in too deep. I'ma really be a name brand. I levitate, got you looking like a caveman. Talking like you winning, doing only what a slave can. I'm getting money, so I'm knowing why they mad at me. Quarter ounce of literary magic in the glad baggy word to the plug. Hope your baby stay fed. I'ma keep you living with a pocket full of dead. 
And I came up from the eyes they can't fathom So I'ma need all my little coins, you can't have them But I'll probably drop a couple blessings on the way out Give a little, get a little, watch it come and play out Royal getting royalties, I'm waiting on the payout Loyal to the soil, but we manifest the way out, uh Thank God for the love and the upcoming I was blessed with the flows, got my cup running Ain't no fear in the black man Hi, okay, don't worry, the video's done, I'll stop talking But I just wanted to add one more motto to our list I hope you remember the other ones, okay I'll remind you, because I know it's been an hour But remember them, okay First one, let go of things that do not serve you Second one, better yourself to attract better things And then the third one that I've found today Is stop obsessing over negative circumstances so I feel like that one's kind of self-explanatory, but like a short gist, I feel like it just means like stop thinking about what you can't do, what will go wrong, and um, all of the negatives in your life or in your situations because that reflects your body, that reflects your mind, like that reflects what you put out into the world. If you're thinking it, if you're telling yourself that, then that's what will come to fruition basically like a manifestation situation whereas if you're focusing on all the positives and if you're focusing on all the things that you can do it makes it easier it makes life easier you make your you make life harder for yourself when you think of all the things that could go wrong or that you can't do because you're automatically it's like setting up a roadblock in your brain when you're like, I can't do this. Okay, then your brain's like, she can't do this. Or we're leaving, guys. She can't do this. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, you can do it. Th those are my three mottos. I'm at a big contrast to how I was in the beginning of this week, even. Like, the beginning of this freaking video. I feel 20 times better. I feel excited. I feel rejuvenated. And I'm ready. I'm ready. So, um, Lucy wants to say bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Alright. I'm gonna go. For the love in the upcoming. I was blessed with the flows, got my cup running. Ain't no fear in the black man running. Think he trying us, my tribal going duck hunting. Cause it be like that but Sometimes it be like that I wish it wouldn't be like that But sometimes it be like that I wish it wouldn't be like that It wouldn't be like that We was 13 playing with a ratchet and some ratchet Side of town with grow rap it or we had to grow On the need to know unless some had to know posing for the cameras like you try and get an action role i beneficial you ain't beneficial to me boy country bunky boonie boy praying like a sunni boy said they want to make a difference they ain't moving different though passing with a handshake that's a give and go a lot of loud from my hood they ain't